Hello everybody and welcome to, well, this is going to be just a little thing that I'm not sure how I'm going to do it yet. Um, basically what happened was yesterday I watched um, Star Wars The A New Hope with my girlfriend. Uh, she hasn't seen it before, so I kind of got in the mood to play this just because I'm like, oh yeah, I love, I love this game, I love, I love everything about it. Um, so basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be... Oh, got to exit out. No, 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 no. We'll do that in a bit. We'll do that in a bit. But basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be going through this game twice. And this is kind of pre-gaming for um, my Legend of Zelda LP uh, Oracle of Seasons. It's, that's what I chose. Um, but... I don't feel like starting it quite yet, so what we're going to do is we're going to go through this game, and I'll probably upload it weekly or something like that, but I'm going to go through it once, and just do do it regularly, and then I'm going to go through it a second time, and we'll just, we'll just, I'll try to show you how to get gold for each, each mission that I didn't get earlier, and then I'll show you the secret levels that are in there. So first, just OX Foo, or at least as well as I can. Are you sure? Yep. So, first mission is Ambush at Moss Eisley. Take an early morning run over Moss Eisley with Wedge Antilles, but keep your eyes open for any suspicious activity. So basically, this is just throwing us right in. We're gonna be in the X-Wing. We haven't... There are multiple ships that you can choose for each mission. Like, we could choose the A-Wing or the V-Wing for this mission, which V-Wing's a new ship, it wasn't shown in any this of the movies or anything. Fast, light, and unpredictable. Um, v -wing carries it was basically which can be fired at a normal rate between uh, movies 5 and 6, I believe, that it was released. Oh no, no, that's alright. It was based off of a Calamari design and released... It, it was after movie 6 that actually cropped up when they were fighting the remnants of the Empire. But anyway, let's look at this crawl. Star Wars! Chapter 1 The Rebel Opposition You are a traitor and a member of the Rebel Alliance. Six months have passed since the Battle of Yavin. The Death Star has been destroyed, but the fight for freedom is far from over. As the war against the Empire rages ag across rages across the vastness of space. Luke Skywalker forms the legendary Rogue Squadron from the Rebel Alliance's most skilled X-Wing pilots. Basically, the, the two that lived, him and Wedge Antilles. <laughs> Their mission, to defend the struggling Rebel Alliance against a still powerful and a still powerful and battle-hardened Imperial foe in a last-ditch effort to control the galaxy. Thought for a second that Ray rolls off a still powerful end battle. <laughs> That's just me reading ahead and not reading the way I should. So yeah, basically this is right between episodes four and five. Four and five. Um, I believe it's actually before Shadows of the Empire this, that this happens. Um, a lot of this is just. It's not really canon. It's just again just showing off these. The Rogue Squadron, um, which Antilles and Luke Skywalker are at their best. Uh, for the most part, we're going to be playing as Luke Skywalker until the very last mission, where we take over as Wedge and Antilles, because... Good morning, Wedge. The rest of Rogue Squadron is still back at base, but I thought we could take an early morning run through Beggar's Canyon. And that is actually going to be something that we get to do later. But, basically, um, we become Wedge in the last mission, because Luke has gone off to start the Jedi Academy once anew. So, A to accelerate, B to shoot, um, there's a few other things, like C left is going to be to fire your proton torpedoes, I believe C down is to sh change your firing pattern, which for these probe droids I'm just going to stick with two firing at once, alternating, because they... T oh wait, no, I can stay with one, because well, they just take one shot for these probe droids. Um, basically, yeah, we're going through here, just make sure you don't hit any of the civilians, I believe it, yep, it's Z to break. I didn't do a practice run or anything for this, and basically to 
accelerate in this, you're going to press C right to close your. Um, I think they're called X foils. They might be called S foils, actually, which is really weird. But yeah, basically take out the probe droids as quickly as you, as you can before they start killing the moisture evaporator farmers. And there's going to be like three or four groups of them. And we'll see where we are after that. Um, you get graded on how many enemies you take out, the time you take, your at the amount of shots wasted, um, how many friendlies you're able to save, because that's basically our prime objective, um, going through and making sure the Empire doesn't screw everything up for people. Um, and there we go, that's all the probe droids. And now this is where we are actually have to be quick about things, because Moss Eisley being attacked by bombers, it will go pretty quickly. So I'm just going to close my S-foils, and we should... Yep. It is actually possible to get a gold right away with this, I believe. But you have to be quick, and you have to be good. Um, so I'm going to switch to four shot, just because then I can take down the bombers in one shot. Ooh, missed half of the shots. And there we go, all done. They're pretty quick missions. Um, we did it. We saved Moss Eisley. Nice work, Rogue Squadron. We might make a name for ourselves after all. Yeah, they're pretty quick missions. Um, they're not really long at all. You get a silver medal. That's not bad at all. And it'll show us where we need to improve. Right there. Enemies destroyed. Um, that's right. There's actually... Um, if... You go to the left at one point, there is, you can see the escape pod where R2-D2 and C-3PO touch down in the first movie, and there's a couple of Imperial Stormtroopers going around there. You can blast them, and that's how you get the other four troopers, but I'll show you that later. So basically, Rendezvous and Barkesh, we're going to be protecting a couple guys while they basically deliver troops and weapons to a base. Um... I don't know much about Barkash because there's not many books that really focus on it. As far as I can tell, it's just a rebel base that... Rogue Squadron. It's kind of like Yavin, General actually. Riken. One of our shuttles will rendezvous with a small convoy from local resistance on Barkash, which must first travel through Imperial territory. They carry equipment and supplies vital to the Rebellion. Your mission is to rendezvous with that convoy and escort it to the landing zone. Good luck. But yeah, it's basically like Yavin. It's got the te the temples and whatnot. And the thing about the temples is you can actually shoot at these to um, up your, your accuracy. And I'm just going to take out these guys quick because we do have a little, um, a small amount of time. We need some my proton torpedoes just because we do have a small amount of time before they start hitting enemies so it's usually faster to just take out these guys because this is really where your friendly score is important. Alright, usually what you can do is if you can see an ATST you can usually take it out just by firing at it on your way down. Alright road group. The supply vehicles have begun moving, their escort will follow shortly. The problem with that a lot of the times is that you're going to find the smaller craft of the combat that is you are shot by the ATSTs as you're coming down on them. So you just gotta make sure that it's usually better just to take them from the back, but in this case, it's just gonna be faster to just go right up on them. Um, because you're you are on a time limit right here. Uh, there's a few turbo lasers that you want to take out, but for the most part, they're not. They're going to be worrying about the turbo lasers are going to be firing at you. They're not going to be firing at the escorts because the cool thing about turbo lasers is that they cannot go down below the horizon in this game. So you're mostly they're going to be counting towards your enemy destroyed count. Oh shoot, that's right. Um, I completely forgot about that. What you're also going to be dealing with here is a couple of TIE Bombers, and we already lost a Convoy, which means I believe that we cannot get a gold medal anymore. I believe you have to make sure that 
each one of them survives. It might only be the three of them, actually, that have to survive. Oh no, you might, you might be able to lose three of them uh, before they downgrade you. Okay, we're gonna switch. I, I just like to switch to the single shot for these guys just because it does make things a little easier. Um, the only problem with this guy is that he's got a lot of health, so you're gonna want to use your proton torpedoes against him. Yes, it is imperative that you stay with the supply vehicles, but if you stay with them the entire time, then you are gonna lose the other the other vehicles. So you do have to do a little bit of juggling here. Um, for the most part. You're going to be waiting a little while for the bombers to show up anyway. Now you're going to see up above, in the top left, you're going to see the the status of your vehicle. Right now I've got a green. Later on we're going to get upgrades that allow us to have shields. We're actually going to have blue as our top health, which will actually add an extra layer of health for a little while. For a little while. Um, for the most part it's going to be one shot, you lose that blue shield. And then, well, you're just back down to the regular shield again. I'm going to run back to these guys because they did have another ATST on them. And they're probably dead, actually, at this point. Maybe not, let's see. That's the one thing about um, the X-Wing that is a lot more useful than some of the other vehicles, like the B-Wing. You have an R2 unit, so your vehicle will be repaired over time. Yeah, 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 we're, one second. I gotta make sure that the other guys are okay, too, because they come as friendlies as well. I only really need one of the... Um, ooh. I really only need one of the convoys to actually make it. To actually finish the mission. Alright, that's another thing you can do if you're finding that you're just not gonna be able to hit them in time. You can just run into a lot of the TIE units, like the TIE bombers and such, because they will fall down with one hit. Uh, the problem with this mission is, again, you're juggling a lot of the time, so you gotta make sure that... You gotta make sure that you're perfectly timed, and all of other times, it takes a little bit of practice. X-Wing is... it's possible to get a gold medal with an X-Wing, but usually I find it easier to just use the A-Wing or the B-Wing to get it, because you are able to move a little, a little more quickly and shoot a little more quickly. All right, now you're going to have one more guy come up from here. Let's see if we can get him before he drops a bomb. There we go. Alright, and now we are done with the TIE Bombers. So we can now go back here. If you, can, if you saw before, there are a bunch of little guys like running around down here. And you can shoot these guys for extra enemy destroyed points or whatever. And it really does help, especially because, well, for the same reason that we needed to get extra enemies destroyed earlier. It's just gonna, it's just really gonna help. And same thing for this, just boost up your accuracy a little bit by just firing on these things. For the most part, we are done right now. Again, I might be wrong, we might be losing everything right now. <laughs> so I'm just gonna head back and... We're all set. Never mind. Unless we get a big... Nope, we're all set. Cutscene. The shuttle is clear. She'll pick up the rest of this cargo. The Rebel Alliance will appreciate those supplies, especially after we lost Yavin base. And we probably got a bronze or a silver for this one, so... Well, we'll see. Silver, so not that bad. Alright, so that's two missions down. So I will see you guys, I am running out of time, so I will see you guys next time. As you can see, we need a few more enemies destroyed, and we can only lose one of the guys. Um, but we've been promoted to cadet, and I will see you guys next time on Let's Play Star Wars Rogue Squadron with me, OXFU. Take it easy, guys.